Mabuhay! Great day guys! Welcome to TSA Toy Stash in Action with another toy review and I'm Ranger Dave and today we are gonna check out the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Dark Knight's Death Metal Wonder Woman figure. That is right guys. Now, uh, to be honest guys, on the Death Metal series, Wonder Woman is completely my favorite character. She's already a god right now. She has ascended above that, you know, power level and she's just totally insane within that series. So if you haven't read the comic book, I totally recommend it. But yeah, let's go ahead and focus on the figure. All right guys, so here she is, you know, inside the packaging. Now this is where, you know, the collect and build parts are in. Now a big shout out for Wildcard Collections on helping us out to get this figure. You know, he's a handsome guy, you know, guys but yeah uh, this is just cool this is dope now this is the packaging now you got Wonder Woman right here Dark Knight's death metal and then going here you got that amazing artwork now uh, but yeah uh, let's go ahead and open this figure up all right guys so here she is outside the packaging now she looks beautiful guys now I have to say she is just beautiful I love this piece this piece is just insane and you know uh, really I have nothing to say uh, you know no complaints right here this is just really awesome all right so let's go ahead and check out the detail guys why this thing is just so beautiful I mean look at that Wonder Woman has an amazing head sculpt right here now there is a little paint smudge right there but you know this is just a beautiful piece it's just amazing uh, because of the you know the sculpt right here even the weathering for the hair I mean look at that right there so you got blue and then black same as the comic book and then you know I really love the gold paint right here for uh, the crown you know the queen of the Amazons that is just beautiful and then you gotta see it right here for the skulls you know like the shoulder pad skulls uh, they are painted and they are weathered uh, with like that old uh, you know uh, skull feel so that is just cool as well and then you got gold parts right here for the armor you're pretty good and you're pretty decent I love the paint job there's really no paint smudges and the sculpt guys uh, I have to say the sculpt on the figure it's very intricate you got a lot of sculpt you know even like here for the skirt like there's a lot of sculpt right there even the folds uh, for the skirt that's just awesome and then going here for the legs yeah and so again more sculpt and I have to say guys this Wonder Woman has the best boots of all Wonder Woman figures uh, this is just pretty sweet I really really love uh, the boots on this this is just really cool and yep, going here at the back, you still have, you know, that scope. You know, there's really no compromise at that scope. And here, even here for the cape, you even, like, have that fabric uh, type of, uh, you know, scope. So that's just awesome. Going here at the back, you know, just, you know, just a continuation of the skirt and then, of course, the armor. So that is just awesome. I really love this. Okay, now going for the accessory, guys. This is just awesome. So you got accessories. So you got... Uh, the stand and of course we got the trading card now this is the same thing that you see at the back of the box so you know nothing special I really thought that is supposed to be like a comic book version but hey you know th at least you still got the trading card so that is just dope and lastly guys behold the chainsaw of truth yes that's right I just called it the chainsaw of truth because it is the chainsaw of truth this is what she has a freaking you know chainsaw you know so if you if how are you guys you know just just tell the woman you know what she wants to to know because you know I don't want that chainsaw on me so this has like a pretty good detail you got Amazonian you know writings right there if you can actually see so that is just cool and pretty dope now uh, mine is a little warped so I might use like hot water to you know get it all straightened up but this is just really awesome I love it you know this is just a beautiful piece now tell me the truth okay guys now applying the accessories it's just very easy so there is an open hand right here so all you need to do is just stuck it in right there for Wonder Woman and so it's not that hard like the other figures that we previously got but yeah look at right there because uh, this is a Batman uh, right here for the Batman figure uh, the arm or the hand itself it's a very hard plastic you need to use hot water but right here for Wonder Woman it's very fine so yeah that's right tell the woman what she wants tell me all right guys now for wonder woman's articulation it's very fun and you know a, a little um, a lot of hindrance <laughs> because of the sculpt of this figure now uh, uh for the head you got a bow joint right here so move it side to side rotate it yeah and so that is as much as she could do uh, for the head all right so there's really nothing much uh, because of the hair sculpt right here it's a very hard plastic yeah, and so it's a little soft but you know on the tips but 
yeah that's the issue thing and then going here for the arms she can raise it up but this much now there is two ranges because of this uh yeah so uh, that is because of the hair sculpt all right so that's as far as she could do uh for both arms so that's left and right and yeah that's okay and then going here she can move forward and then back about this much and so you just need to raise up the cape right there and she does have a you know a uh, uh, bicep swivel right there yeah so that's really cool and then you got double jointed um, you know elbows that's nice you know I really like uh, this build right there yeah I'm just saying Disha you know uh, ugly so it, that's not ugly I really love that and then going right here you got a bull hinge wrist yeah and so you move it side to side rotate and yeah, whatever you like now uh, you also have a rubber piece similar with the drown figure now this you're probably notice that she can crunch yeah and so that's as far as she can crunch and then going back but that much now she can move side to side now i am not recommending it because of you know there might be stressed out too much though th that's like a hot toys thing yeah and so it's it's okay it's, it's beautiful you know you got the sculpt but i wish lang na para lang na lang siya ano yung so sculpted na lang siya it's like a separate piece not doing the rubber thing but hey at least you got this beautiful you know uh warrior goddess that she wears always so that's cool and then going right here uh for the you know uh legs she can do the splits about that far so that is awesome and that's just cool she can raise up her legs forward and then back about that much now she does have a thigh swivel but it is a little tight so you know she you won't really feel that and then going right here uh you know double jointed knees so that is awesome and then you got a you know bow hinge right here um, for the ankles yeah so it's a little stuck it's new guys it's new <laughs> i haven't really tried to water it up it yeah and then you got a boot cut right there so that is basically it okay guys so just for fun here's a quick size comparison with our mcfarland toys wonder woman figure so we got another wonder woman figure so this is like from the last night on earth now as you can see i did customize it uh because of like you know she looks like linda carter so yeah whatever you know and then of course we got the dcuc linda carter right here and it looks awesome guys she is the most beautiful and standout wonder woman that you could get out of market now i haven't seen this figure so this is just really great i love the piece you know all right guys so that's my take for the mcfarland toys dc multiverse dark knights death metal wonder woman figure i totally love it the sculpt the paint job and of course the overall likeness of it for the you know uh, the comic book version now this is the best wonder woman figure that you're gonna get uh, when it comes to the sculpt guys now i do have issues when it comes to like the articulation points because of the hair sculpt and of course the body build of this wonder woman figure but hey guys this is it we finally have the death metal figure so uh, i'm totally gonna give this figure a four out of five rating and you know this beautiful is just uh, perfect for your wonder woman collection now especially if you are collecting wonder woman i know you, i definitely recommend it you know to pick this girl up uh, i hope you guys like this video and if you are new to the channel please do hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell to be updated on every new video we have here now we have hundreds of video guys on the channel do check them out and yeah that wraps it up remember life is one big collection peace out god bless